back home from vacation and I'm so excited to do this video because I've been waiting for this video for a very long time. Like right when I started getting makeup, I was like, ooh, I'm gonna come home and film this tutorial. So I'm just gonna go straight in. So I got a package from Glossier last night and I kind of wanted to dive into some of their products. Now everything that I have is pretty much all new. I'm looking at the stuff right now. A lot of the things I've had in my collection, I just never had the chance to use it. And then if things, uh, you know, if I don't have anything new, I'm just going to use what I have. So from Glossier, they have the Priming Moisturizer and it's a buildable hydrating cream. And so with that being said, I think it's just going to, I guess, act like a Too Faced Hangover RX. I'm guessing because um, it's a moisturizing primer. Oh, I'm doing this wrong. <laughs> it says it says massage into the skin using upward strokes up and out. Okay. So I'm gonna take the Too Faced Born this way. Now I have um, this foundation in my collection already, but the girl color matched me wrong. So while I was on vacation, I ended up going on to my emails and I noticed that the Too Faced foundation was 40% off. So I was like, and so I got the color natural beige instead because in a lot of my other foundations that's normally the color I am. And so I was like, okay, well, let me just go for it. Let me just, you know, go in for the kill. So I'm gonna take two and a half pumps and I'm gonna use a brush today because I, I feel like it. Uh, this is the Sigma 3D HD flat top kabuki brush and I'm just gonna go in with the flat side and I'm just gonna kind of paint it on my face and then pounce it in. Uh, into my face like this. On a regular day-to-day -day basis, I do not like to apply my foundation with a brush, um, but I think that since I was on vacation, I was always using my beauty blender, I think now I'm kind of in that mood to try something different. Um, I think I did on an Instagram live video testing out how far I could utilize this brush in one look and I was able to cream contour, blush, highlight, everything and apply foundation and concealer and set it with a powder. <laughs> and so I was just thinking like, oh, maybe I'll do the same with this video. It matches my neck a little bit better than the older foundation. The other foundation that I had was in the color Warm Nude and that was just way too light. I think today I'm just gonna go for a really fresh look because I'm not really into full coverage right now. Um, but I also got the Born This Way concealer. I got the color Medium Nude. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, again, this was like online and it was 40% off. Okay, it's lighter than the foundation. That's all that matters. <laughs> I was getting really scared. I was like, oh my God, like what if it's darker? What if it is the um, foundation shade? And it's so hard shopping online for your foundation, but I think I got it pretty good. I've never gotten this close before. <laughs> um, but I'm just gonna apply this concealer where I normally would. And I have a lot of discoloration on my nose probably because I've been out in the sun and it's also really red around the sides of my nose. So I'm gonna try and conceal that as well as my chin. My chin has been red too. I've never tried the Born This Way concealer, so I don't know how it's going to perform. I'm assuming it's gonna perform really, really flawlessly on top of the foundation because it's the same line. Um, I haven't really heard too many people talk about it. Like when it first launched, I know some people were like really crazy about it, but then now you don't really hear anything mentioned. But right here in this eye area, uh, that's where it was really dark um, from like my dark circles, but it's looking pretty concealed, not all the way, like not completely full coverage but it's still giving me that I'm wide awake type of look. You guys can definitely see that in, in the camera. So far, it's blending out really, really nice. I love how it's like not overpowering. Thank God I chose the right shade. I was really worried. But when I move my face, I do have this really nice glow to it. I'm really digging it so far. Um, I'm gonna move on into brows. Now I don't really have a new 
um, brow product as far as the coloring goes. Uh, so I'm just gonna go in with my Dip Brow Pomade by Anastasia. And I really wanted to go back to this because the whole time I was traveling, I only brought brow powder and I was like god give me something new to work with so I'm gonna go back to my dip brow and I'm just combed it out with a spoolie I'm going to take an angled brush and I'm just gonna do my eyebrows so while I'm doing my brows all that I'm thinking about is the fact that the whole Euro trip I couldn't find any hot Cheetos like we found some but they were at like the American candy store and they were like six pounds which is about eight to nine dollars my brows are not perfect but I'm not really going for a perfect brow today just honestly to fill them in um, but I'm gonna go in with some more concealer and I'm going to apply this um, kind of on the bottom of my brow and then I'm going to clean it up with a brush um, I'm gonna use the Sigma F66 today. It's a small little angled brush like this and I'm just gonna go ahead and use this to define my brows really soft really easy not too cut but you know it still gives me a little something to work with. So I think I want to finish my face because I have a lot of other cream products I want to work with. So I don't know how this is going to work because I normally don't work with cream products. <sighs> but I have this thing from Glossier. It's called their Holoscope uh, Dew Effect Highlighter in the color Moonstone. And I swatched it yesterday and it looks really wet. It looks like a, almost like a sweaty type of highlight. And let me see, can I roll it up? Yeah, there we go. Um, it kind of has like that moisturizing center to it. And so I'm gonna apply this on top of my foundation. Ooh, that looks disgusting. You know, this would probably look a lot better on bare skin. Like when you're doing a no makeup makeup look. This makes my face look cakey, without a doubt. So I think right now I'm gonna skip, oh. Yeah, I'm skipping out on this. It's making my foundation look really, really bad. So I'm gonna go ahead into like a cream blush. So I have this one by Glossier. It's called their Cloud Paint Seamless Cheek Color. And I have the color Dusk. Comes in like a little tube like this. I wanted my first impressions to be on camera. Oh, wait. I'm never into cream blushes, but this, I think I have too much on this side. I think. I'll add more if I need it. But this is really pretty. Wow. <laughs> it's like you can barely see it on my skin, but I love that. I love how like it just looks like a natural flush of color. Since the rest of the products that we're going to be working with are powders, I'm going to go ahead and take my RCMA No Color Powder. I rarely use this on camera, um, but I'm going to take this with the BH Cosmetics 125 brush. And I'm kind of just dipping it in there, kind of tapping off the excess on the side. And I'm going to go in and set my under eye. There, has, there was no creasing, surprisingly. Um, so I didn't really have to go in and buff it out again so I'm just gonna set my face and when I was in London Sally got me this palette it's the makeup revolution ultra blush palette this is the golden sugar to rose gold and she says she swears by this so I'm gonna take her word for it I used it once on her I like judged up her makeup for her and um, I used this as a contour and it's kind of like this dusty it's not really a dusty mauve it's like a dusty terracotta but it's not too dark and so I wanted to just take that same brush and run it under my cheeks and it's not too bad it's like not giving me a whole bunch of pigment which which is a good thing uh, sometimes I don't like it when my bronzers uh, give me too much pigment or kind of like my bronzers and blushes I don't really care for those that you know kick off too much onto the brush because I'm more of you know, building up on those areas so right now I'm looking 
pretty good, pretty good. I'm gonna take the lighter one on, on the bottom of it and I'm gonna see what that does just over the top, kind of, I don't know, maybe blend it out a little bit more. And then to kind of slim down the appearance of my nose, I'm gonna take the lighter shade um, and I'm gonna go ahead and just carve it out a little bit. I like to start at the tip of my nose and then work my way up. This is the Sigma E70 brush and I'm just going to go ahead. I know that this color is pretty warm, but honestly, as long as it can give my nose a little bit of shape, I'm not really mad at it. Then I'm going to take a fluffy blending brush and I'm going to buff this out a little bit. This is by Real Techniques, it's their Dome Shadow Brush. And now we can move on into highlight. I didn't bring a highlighting brush. Ah! It's okay, we'll use the one that we used earlier. So Sally said that this one was her favorite and I used it on her and I thought it was really pretty. So I'm gonna take a good amount of that and I'm gonna pack it onto my... <sighs> Sally! Sally girl! What the hell? Because when I applied this on her, she already had highlight on, so I didn't really get to see the full effect. But... Wow. So we're going to move on into the eyes. I think I should zoom you guys in just a little bit more. There we go. <laughs> so I got the Sigma Shimmer Cream, and this one is in the color... What is this? It's just called Sultry Shimmer Cream. Is that the name? So oh, it is called Sultry. <laughs> um, so it is just this really nice peanut butter looking cream that I want to put on my eyes. Uh, I'm going to buff out the creases in my eyes just a little bit. And I didn't want to put powder on top of my eyes because I was scared that um, it was going to mess with the cream shadow. So I, I don't really know how to use this. Um, I'm just going to take a random brush and I'm going to dip it into the product here. So it's a lot more rustier than I thought it would look because now that I'm blending it out it has like this gold shift to it and it also has like this reddish hue and I'm digging it. I'm going to see what look I can come up with this. I'm going to take my Morphe R39 and I'm just going to buff out the edges. I didn't take any additional product. Just going to buff it out. That's a really pretty color. Oh my gosh, I could just walk out the house with this on. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and try some new shadows. So um, before I left for vacation, Angel got me some new ColourPop shadows, um, kind of like a month before I left, and I kind of wanted to uh, use them in a tutorial. I've only used it once, and I didn't really know how to use it, but I think that was like a good um, you know, trial and error experience. So he got me these uh, three matte uh, Super Shock shadows, um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of dive right into it. Um, I don't really know exactly what I'm going for. My camera cut off and I don't know when it did, but I'm gonna go ahead and apply this with my Morphe brush into the outer corner. And I'm just going to take my time with this because, you know, these are kind of like a creamier consistency. So I kind of want to make sure that it's focused in the right place so it doesn't get too out of hand and too uh, over blended. I'm going to now take the color called Bandit and I'm going to take that first brush that we used on our eyes and I'm going to go ahead and focus this just a little lower and I'm going to try and build it up. I'm also patting it to help blend the colors together. I'm going to take another brush to clean the edges. I'm going to take the Sigma E35. This will help me in this area. This eye look is coming out really good. If you're wondering how to use these um, matte shades in the Super Shock Shadow, I would recommend getting smaller brushes as opposed to bigger brushes to apply it. The only use the bigger brushes are here for is to just really blend it out after you've applied it and patted it around. Um, 
I just feel like when you go in with a big brush initially, it gets really muddy really quick and you're not able to grab as much product as you would like. So when you have a smaller brush, you have more precision and you have more control of where you're able to put the shadow. And so I'm gonna go ahead and keep using this brush and I'm gonna go ahead and kind of smoke out my lower lash line. I'm gonna go in with the color Cornelius one more time and I'm gonna focus this on the outer corner and I'm gonna work my way in. My lower lash line kind of got a little messy so I'm gonna take another blending brush. It's just good to have clean blending brushes with you because I didn't wanna use the other two because it would have gone a little lower than um, I anticipated. So right now I'm going in with the Sigma uh, F63 and this is a really small blending brush. It's really thin and so I'm just going to run this along the bottom side and it looks Pretty good, looks pretty good. For eyeliner, I don't really have anything new. Um, I the, the newest eyeliner that I have is by Sigma. This is their Line Ace in the color Legend. Um, I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna apply a really thin line on my top lash line. Um, so I'm just going to look down, keep your mirror down here. For mascara, I've been dying to try the Too Faced Better Than Sex. I have a sample, and I've never used this before, so I'm really excited to see um, what this does for my lashes, because I've heard people like rave about it. My sister likes it. It's not giving me my lashes um, a lot of, I guess, fullness. It's giving it a lot of length and separation, though from what I can personally see. It's also giving it a little bit of a lift without me having to curl. I don't know. I think that is as good as it's going to get. So while I'm here, I wanted to actually try another thing that Glossier sent me. They sent me a thing called the Boy Brow and I was really interested in it because it looked white and I wanted to see because it said it was clear. So I'm guessing you have to actually comb it into your brows. Normally, I don't really, I guess you could say I don't really like go in where the product actually touches my skin. Um, I only just coat the hairs, but I think for this one, I actually have to go all the way. But, hmm. Does this eyebrow look a little ashier to you? I think it's so exciting when I have to bust out a new pair of lashes. So these ones are by Tarte. I got it on sale, I think, for about $8. Um, these ones are in the style Goddess. And I'm really excited because I haven't tried these on myself. There have been some clients that brought these lashes to me and I've used it on them. So I'm really excited to kind of see what's going on. Um, when I did get these on sale, I got them in store and this was the only dramatic pair out of the bunch that I saw. And so I'm really curious to see what these look like on me. Um, I'm, lo I'm loving the kind of sparse um, but really long lash look. My glue of choice today is the Duo Lash Glue. This is an oldie but a goodie. These are definitely that in-between lash um, where it's not too dramatic but not too um, natural. Uh, I still think it does look natural though, um, but I think it just complements the whole entire look. So we're almost done. I'm gonna go ahead with a lip product. Uh, this one is by Glossier. It's their Generation Lipstick, and this one's in the color Leo. Uh, this one says it's supposed to be sheer, and it's a nude. I'm excited to try this because normally sheer lipsticks are a red or a pink, so I've never really seen a nude one. Ooh. Whoa, it kind of just, I think the whole point is like a my lip color but better type of situation. Oh, wow. Wow! <laughs> yeah, so my brows right now, I'm feeling them and they're like really bulletproof. I feel like I can like go through a rainstorm and it just is gonna stay there. Um, so I don't have any new setting mist, so I'm gonna go in with the one that I always use. This is the Mario Badescu. I guess it's kind of new because it's a jumbo size. Fan this in so I could get the full effect of the setting mist. Alright you guys, this is the completed look. I hope you guys really enjoyed seeing me use these brand new products. 
Um, I am thinking about doing another video because I have some really cool things that I bought in Europe that require for me to do a full face tutorial on. So I'm thinking about planning that very, very soon. Later today, I'm gonna do a haul video um, because I have so many videos I wanna film that I kinda wanna take advantage of my time right now. Um, so I hope you guys really enjoy this look. Let me know what products you think worked on me, what products you didn't think worked on me. I personally didn't think that highlighting stick was all that good. Um, but oh, just for shits and giggles, let's go ahead and use a different highlight that I have. Um, it's by Laura Geller. It's their Gilded Honey Highlight. And literally, I see everyone use this. So I want to see for myself what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead. Let's grab this random brush. I don't think it has anything on it. I'm going to go ahead, swirl my brush in it. And I guess It kind of shifts the color of my highlight a little bit to like a little bit more of like a golden hue, but definitely it looks a lot more wet than it did. Mm. Interesting. I love it when my chin looks wet. Let me get that real quick. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial um, let me know if it was helpful for you or not I don't know tell me tell me if you're gonna wear it to lunch dinner to the parties tonight the weekend I don't know um, but yeah I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys on my next one bye peace out Girl Scouts